We are underway in the Russell Athletic Bowl. That snap, and that is a touchdown for Rutgers. Costly mistake for the Hokies. That is caught by Corey Fuller for a touchdown. You don't get any better than that, because that was a fantastic throw. A short attempt, Cody Journal, Virginia Tech, their first lead of the game. From 42, and it is no good. And Virginia Tech comes back and defeats Rutgers in overtime. We are now joined by the head coach of Virginia Tech, Frank Beamer, heading into your 27th year, coach. We've had a lot of coaches here today going into their first, going into their third. What do you wish you knew in those <laughs> first couple of years that you know now? I don't know. I, you know, it's uh, been a good ride. Been had some great people around me uh, back when uh, in 1992, 93, when I went 2-8-1 and one in about my sixth year. I, I was appreciative of that administration at Virginia Tech that stayed with me because you don't see that much anymore. <laughs> no, you don't. So uh, I've, I've been a fortunate guy. I had great people around me. So you're writing a book now, and yeah. it comes out in August yeah. called Let Me Be Frank. <laughs> Makes sense. I like the title. Yeah. What made you want to do this? Well, Jeff Snook, uh, I think it was a terrific writer, came to me, and we had another book, uh, Turn Up the Wick. This basically takes it from that time to this time. Things that's happened in our football program, how we do things. I think some uh, interesting stories. So uh, I think, I hope it's going to be a terrific book. I hope uh, people enjoy it. And, and uh, really, I think Jeff Snook being the writer and him coming to me and, and his plan for it, uh, that's what convinced me to, to do another book. Obviously, you got a lot going on these days, specifically getting ready for training camp this year and game number one which is not going to be an easy one against the national champion, Alabama. What's the most difficult thing about preparing for a team like Alabama? Well, the most difficult thing is you've got such a good team that you're playing. Uh, you know, that. I mean, basically preparation is preparation. But, uh, you know, Alabama, they're the best team in college football for the last few years. They've got talent. They're, they're extremely well coached. Um, and there's just no flaws. I mean, you start looking at it, and how do you beat this team? Well, the only way to beat them is just play a great football game. And I got smart players, smart coaches, and we understand, hey, we've got to make a great preparation. We've got to go down there and play a great football game to hang in there on this one. And so, uh, you know, that uh, that's that's the deal. And so I think it'll make our preseason practice. So, in, you know, I, I really feel like our players will be into it because, uh, you know, it's a, quite a challenge to, to play the best team in college football. Absolutely. Well, you've got a great guy at quarterback in Logan Thomas. Tell me what his development has been like over the past few years. Logan is just the right kind of guy. He's smart. He's competitive. He's mature. He's a fantastic leader. He's talented. Um, you know, I think he'll learn from last year. I think uh, we had a, a team that just wasn't quite there early we didn't play really good defense which we normally do later we did but it, early it wasn't there uh, David Wilson wasn't there as a running back and a couple receivers uh, Danny Cole and Boykin they weren't there so some pieces were missing and it was just uh, we were kind of a little bit all over the place and I think uh, Logan felt like hey I got to make plays and probably put too much pressure on himself and we were in too many long yarded situations but hopefully the people around him be better I know Logan, I don't worry about Logan a bit. We just got to make sure the pieces around Logan are, are in better. I think we've got us a, a good defense. Uh, we've got us a good quarterback. We've got good kickers. So that's the foundation of a good football team. Now we just got to put it together. When you talk about the pieces around him, what are the, the holes or concerns that you're thinking about most going into camp? Well, where we're most inexperienced is the offensive line and and that's that's a concern because it all starts right there. But they 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 played hard in spring and they played tough and and uh, but some new guys there. Uh, I think our running back situation we probably played too many last year. We'll get that down to a couple. And uh, then wide receivers are some untested guys, but some guys like Demetri Knowles that uh, really has a chance to be special. He's got the speed and ability to be special. So those guys. Early on, I think we got to get some guys playing better than they probably should play uh, in order to have a chance against a team like Alabama. Well, Coach, we appreciate your time. One thing you're doing perfectly, 93 consecutive games sold out at Lane yeah. Stadium. They definitely show up. They're excited for the season. We we're appreciate our too. fans. You know, they're part of our football program. We're in this thing together, and no one, no one in college football has better fans than Virginia Tech. All right, Coach, we appreciate your time. Looking Thank forward you. to the season. We'll send it back over to SportsCenter.